Hello, and welcome to a YouTube video where you get to see the process of me painting a guitar. So let's get into it. Starting off, um, the guitar is already primed. I primed it with an acrylic gesso and sanded it beforehand in order to let the color shine through. Originally, it was a dark blue guitar, and so um, the colors that I wanted wouldn't show up as well on that. And also, acrylic is just really hard to apply to smoother surfaces. Um, if there's not a lot of like surface tension, it can peel right off, which is why you use like plastic palettes for acrylics and stuff, so you can just peel the acrylic paint off. But starting off, I'm doing this uh, sketch. I'm using a Prismacolor color erase pencil. It's in crimson. I don't know if that's really important, but there I am sketching out some squiggly lines. So this whole painting is inspired by a song by the Postal Service that's called Such Great Heights. Um, and now you'll see we're getting into painting. Um, and so whenever I listened to that song, I, I felt like I heard, like it was very colorful in my mind. I don't know if that makes sense. Um, and there's one lyric about because the whole song is about how perfect like these two people are for each other and there's another lyric where it's like the our constellations and our eyes align something like that and another one mentioned how they're manufactured puzzle pieces to fit perfectly together and i really enjoyed that line and so you'll see little puzzle pieces all around and with eyes in them um and it's kind of like a motif throughout the guitar and I thought that would be really nice so you can see me right here applying a blue acrylic background and this took forever it was rough <laughs> okay so some more things that I enjoyed about this process um, this was my first time ever filming my process which was very interesting indeed that's probably why this video is going to suck, but it's okay. Um, I also like that you can progressively see <laughs> the background of the video get messier and messier. Like, whenever I'm sketching, it's just, you know, the guitar and my pencil, and, you know, we're working hard. But as it goes on, you see paint tubes everywhere, possibly paint in my carpet. Um, and throughout this entire thing, you get to see that lovely silver thing. If you were wondering what that is, that is the leg to my desk. I am doing this in, up, like on the floor. Um, and if you're wondering if I got paint in the carpet, probably, probably. Um, fun fact about me, I have a giant uh, stay on my carpet. Uh, it's bright yellow because I opened a tube of yellow oil paint and it like splurted out like projectiled across the room and it was really upsetting and man oil paint just does not come out of carpet other fun things about this um i am not a guitarist and so i call things all the wrong things later on when i'm talking about a little bit more about my process um i'll refer to the pit guard <laughs> as the front plate. I'm so sorry, guitarists who are watching this. I am not one. This is a commission for someone else. Thank you. Okay, so here you'll notice a little bit of a skip in between the last painting set and this painting set. And the reason for that is, is that the lines took so long and they actually took a little bit of concentration especially with the yellow since if it bleeds into the dark blue background it makes such a gross color I had to really get up close and so all of the footage <laughs> it was just my head over the guitar and so you can't really see anything so I thought you know you might as well just cut it out instead of frustrating everyone who is watching this <laughs> so I decided to just cut it out and there's a little bit of a time skip but you know what we're just time travelers you know we're just speeding our way through the process so right here you can see me 
I'm starting to work on those puzzle pieces. I'm starting to color the color. I'm starting to color them, and uh, the background, the squiggles, they're all painted, all ready to go. Uh, yeah, I decided to use a really bright color palette uh, because this is a commission, and the person who is commissioning me, uh, they asked specifically that I use like really bright like colors that pop because they're putting it they're displaying uh, this guitar on like a darker wall in their house so these are the bright colors I chose uh, I'm usually more of like a pastel kind of person but these are colors that I tend to gravitate towards specifically like blue and pink I use a lot in my paintings so I kind of figured they'd end up in here somehow so here you can see kind of my strategy for painting these uh, puzzle pieces, which is just to slap paint on there. Try to be inside the lines, but always be unsuccessful in my attempts to do so, and end up just going over it with a Posca pen later. <laughs> so, you know, that's my style, you know, just paint really messy and hope it fixes itself in the end. This is a very trust the process moment. This is my cat. Her name is Mochi and she's the best. So we're having a kitty break. <laughs> so here you can see me uh, fixing all of my horrible, horrible mistakes with a Posca pen. Um, pretty standard practice, honestly, amongst many artists, I know. <laughs> um, so yeah, now I am just outlining the puzzle pieces first because those are a little easier to outline, a little bit smaller surface area than the squiggles because you have to keep a really consistent line flow, which is difficult whenever doing longer strokes. Um, and then for uh, smaller details, I actually have the same color Postica pen in like a smaller size. It's a smaller tip. And so I use that for adding in more details around the eyes. So like the upper eyelids and stuff and like little dots around like the puzzle pieces I use that little one for and you can see me doing that right here another cat break look at her look at that the lighting is beautiful she's just gorgeous so now we're putting the final product together here I'm going over with a Liquitex matte varnish just to make sure to seal in all of the paint, all of the layers that I've done, make sure that this lasts a long time and doesn't fall apart at the seams, much like how I feel my life goes. So yeah, more varnishing. This was like my first or second time varnishing. I have not varnished a lot of pieces and I've never varnished a guitar. Here I'm putting uh, the pickups and the tuning thingies back in. You can tell I'm not really a guitarist. <laughs> but I'm just screwing on that front panel. Um, and if you can see, I put a little puzzle piece on the front panel. I wanted it to still look kind of clean, which is why I kept the front plate mostly white and how it was originally. Um, but I just added that little puzzle piece for a nice little touch. You can see I am screwing things in one-handed, which uh, zero out of ten don't recommend uh, this is why you don't film while you make things because it makes the process so much longer um, you can see I'm struggling here I'm struggling a little bit um, it gets even worse when I get out the screwdriver for the back plate well there is no back plate but to screw in the fretboard and stuff um, you can see I screwed in one one-handed and I decided to not record the rest 